<laughs> These children personified act of courage and belief that have changed lives. Each time these children stood up for an idea or acted to improve the lot of others or strike against an injustice, they sent forth a ripple of hope. These various children have a clearest vision of what was before them. This can endanger a life, and yet, not withstanding it, gone out to chase it. That's what it takes to be a hero, the little gems of innocence within them that makes us want to believe that still there exists a right and a wrong, and that courage triumphs in the end. There is something in their young spirit, a magic blend of skill, faith, and valor, and the courage of their soul. For 61 years, since 1957, these awards have been given to 963 children. 602 boys and 240 girls have done us proud and have been nationally recognized for their bravery. As many of our awardees come from very humble backgrounds, ICCW sponsors the education of these children from school to higher education in various professions. We receive handsome donations from donors such as Dalmi Associates to fund the education up to school. Other donors also, like various banks, we have Nestlé's who's giving their mothers one lakh each this evening. So we have many such donors here who have contributed so generously to making our program a success. It gives ICCW great happiness to see our bodies as successful doctors, lawyers, engineers, scientists, teachers, chartered accountants, computer specialists in defense and in police services. They are participating in the building of our great country, the India of our dreams. Just as our historical folklore is replete with child heroes like Bharat and Dhruva, the heroism of these children have also made a difference to our world. They are the embodiment of our hope and the preservation of timeless values of faith and sacrifice. We are delighted to present you, sir, our 18 brave awardees. We salute them today. Jeepe ke ladkar, zindagi ki jang, bulan hai hoste, umido ke saan, jaki na nirenge, sapno ke raan. Thank you. And Jai Hind. Thank you very much, Mr. Sikha. It's an honor for me to announce the names of the recipients of the National Gravy Awards 2017. Bharat Award, Nazia, Uttar Pradesh, 16 years, 9 months. Nazia, a young girl in Mandola, Agra district, made a brave and daring effort to take on the onerous task of challenging the illegal business of gambling and betting, ransom for decades. Nazia courageously collected related evidences and informed the police on 13 July 2016. As a result, Four people were arrested and the illegal gambling business was stopped. Nazia courageously faced and endured threats to her life. The miscreants followed her and tried to kidnap her. Nazia and her family members were also feeling now. Brave Nazia did not give up her fight and informed the administrative officers. Nazia's bravery stands out in the crowd as a voice for others. Nazia. The next award is the posthumous award, Gita Chopra Award, Netravati M. Chaban, Karnataka, 14 years and 10 months. Netravati Chaban was washing clothes at a pond near a stone quarry on the 13th May 2017. The pond was full due to heavy rains. Two young boys, Ganesh and Muthu, started swimming in the pond. Netravati suddenly saw the boys drowning. Not showing any fear of this dangerous situation, Netravati swiftly dived into the water to save them. The pond was deep and Netravati braved the waters and pulled 16-year-old Muthu to safety. Netravati's bravery was further exemplified by persistence when she returned to the pond to rescue 10-year-old Ganesh. Unfortunately, 
Ganesh in fear gripped Netra on his neck and she was suffocated. Both of them lost their lives. We have Netra Vati's father, Mantesh Chavan, receiving the award on behalf of Netra Vati. Sanjay Chopra Award, currently Singh, Punjab, 16 years, 4 months. On 20th September 2016, young children were returning from school in their school bus. The driver was over speeding. While crossing a bridge near Atari village, the vehicle plunged into a drain. Water filled the bus in no time and the children had difficulty in breathing and were terrified. Realizing the gravity of the situation, currently Singh immediately broke open the door and came out of the bus. He then entered the bus again with denomination and helped other children come out of the bus. Currently saved 15 children, though seven lives were lost in the incident. Currently was himself wounded, sustaining a deep cut on his forehead above the eye. Currently saved. Babu Gaitani Award, Beechwa Don Painland, Meghalaya, 12 years, 11 months. On the 23rd of October 2016, Beechwa John and his three year old brother, Arius, were alone at home. The young child was inside when suddenly their hut caught fire. Beechwa John, who was outside, noticed his entire hut engulfed in flames and his younger brother was trapped inside. Beechwa John, without fear or hesitation, Risking his life, entered the burning hut to save the child. Enduring danger and pain, he courageously brought out the child to safety, and his fingers were disfigured in the incident. Vaishwa Don Pengai, with his fearless act of bravery, saved his brother from being burned alive. Vaishwa Don Pengai. Bapu Gaihani Award, Mamta Dalai, Odisha, 6 years, 8 months. On 6 April 2017, in Kendra Para district of Odisha, Mamta Dalai and Asanti Dalai, of 7 years, had gone to a nearby pond to take a bath. A crocodile suddenly emerged out of the water and attacked Asanti. The crocodile was trying to drag Asanti into the pond. Seeing the turbulent situation, Mamba fearlessly reached out and held Ashanti's hand and tried to pull her hand away from the crocodile's jaws. Mamba fought hard to save Ashanti. Mamba managed to drag Ashanti to safety. As the crocodile pounced on Ashanti, she also sustained injuries. The forest officials of the Gita Kaika National Park managed to catch the crocodile that had strayed and released into the river. Mamba Dana. <laughs> Babu Gagnani Award, Sebastian Vincent, Kerala, 12 years, 3 months. On the morning of 19 July 2016, Sebastian Vincent and his friends were going to their school on their bicycles. As they were crossing a railway track, one of his friends, Abhijit's shoe, got entangled in the railway track. As a result, Abhijit fell on the track. Just then, the children noticed a train approaching fast. Facing the oncoming danger, Sebastian acted fast to save his friend. Without losing any time, Sebastian jumped onto the track and kicked off his bicycle. Sebastian kicked Abhijit off the track of death and somersaulted at the nick of time before the train passed by. Sebastian's right hand was fractured in the incident. Sebastian Vincent showed immense courage, skill, and bravery in fearlessly saving his friend's life from the inevitable mishap. Sebastian Vincent.
Lakshmi Yadav Raipur, 15 years and 11 months. On the 2nd of August 2016 at 8pm, Lakshmi Yadav and a friend had parked a motorcycle at Ganesh Nagar Mahal and both were talking with each other. Just then a history cheater and two of his accomplices reached. They abused and attacked them and snatched the key of their motorcycle. After that, one of them forcefully dragged Lakshmi onto the bike. The three miscreants abducted Lakshmi to a desolate area with the intention of sexually assaulting her. Lakshmi exemplified a brave quality of spirit that enabled her to face the danger. She somehow managed to take out the bike's key and hit it. When the miscreants tried to get hold of Lakshmi, she bravely pushed them away and escaped and ran to the police station, informing them about the incident. Lakshmi Yadav. The next is a joint award being shared by Mansha N, 13 years, N Shankon Konyak, 17 years, 7 months, and Yogne, 17 years, 7 months, all three from Nagaland. Many, many, three years, and Chumben, six years, were looked after by Mansha after their mother passed away. On 7th August 2016, around 1.30 a.m., Mansha heard the faint struggling cry of Mary. She went to check on the girl. To her utter shock, she saw Mary and his father, Mantungo Loda, trying to strangulate her to death. Brave Mansha snatched the baby, pushed the father away, and took the girl with her. A few minutes later, again she heard a faint cry. She immediately rushed to find the father now trying to strangulate his son, Chupin, with a waist belt. Mansha pushed him away from the child and called for help. Hearing the commotion, the children's maternal uncles, Shampon and Yogni, rushed to help. Then Bantungo brought an axe-like weapon to hack his three kids. He attacked his son with it. Although Yogni snatched the baby from the jaws of death, but the child was grievously injured. Brave Yogni and Shampon instantly acted, confronted and fought together to overpower the kid's father. Police were then informed and the culprit arrested. Mansha N. Shampon Konyak. Yokne <laughs> Chile Wangsa Nagaren, 17 years, 7 months. The incident occurred on the morning of 4th September 2016. Most of the villagers were in church when a house caught fire. A 74 year old man was sleeping inside the house. Chile Wangsa, his neighbor, rushed towards the burning house but found the door locked from the inside. He called out to the occupant but his voice went unheard as the man was hard of hearing. Though terrified, he bravely went through the kitchen engulfed in flames and reached the room to find the old man sleeping there. Chingay Mansa woke up the old man and brought him out to safety. He daringly went back again towards the burning house and rescued the livestock as well. Chingay Wangsa. <laughs> Samritri Sushi Sharma, Gujarat, 16 years and 3 months. On the afternoon of the 1st of July 2016, Samritri Sharma was alone at home when the doorbell of her house rang. As she opened the door, a person who had his face covered with a mask inquired about the maid. Samritri told him that the maid has gone after the bleeding for her. He then asked her for some water to drink. When Samritri refused to give him water, he took out a knife and put it on her neck. Facing danger without fear, she held the knife back with her left hand and forced him out of the gate. As a result, he slipped and fell near the entrance. The miscreant then snatched his knife and started running out of the compound. In the tussle, the girl's hand was injured, 
with a knife that cuts a vein, making for plain for his sake. Samriddhi, with resolute courageousness, ran after him. The miscreant escaped on the bike, but his wide knife slipped out of his hand, which was handed over to the police. Samriddhi Sushi Sharma. Zonam Kwanga, Mizoram, 15 years and 10 months. On the morning of 20th August 2016, Zonam Kwanga and his father were going to a brook in search of district of Mizoram. On the way, noticing some movement, his father stopped to check when suddenly a wild boar jumped and attacked him. The wild bear continued its attack and wounded him severely on his face. Zonam Kwanga, who was some distance away, heard his cries and rushed to the spot. Screaming loudly, Zonokwanga fearlessly approached the bear with a dog and axe like weapon to save his father. He confronted the bear and succeeded in scaring the bear away. Zonokwanga took his injured father to the village hospital for necessary treatment. Zonokwanga. Pankaj Sehwal, Uttarakhand, 15 years, 10 months. On 10 July 2016, at around 1 a.m. in the Dharwan district of Uttarakhand, Pankaj Sehwal, along with his mother and siblings, was sleeping in the veranda of the second floor of their house. A leopard entered the veranda, climbing the staircase, and attacked his mother with its claws. The leopard tried to drag his mother to the staircase, but she started crying in pain and shouted loudly. Hearing the cries of his mother, Pankaj woke up. Seeing the brave situation, brave Pankaj, overcoming his fear, picked up a stick and forced it to flee. Imla Devi was injured and bleeding profusely and was taken to the hospital. Pankaj Singhwal's courageous act and fortitude saved his mother from the fatal attack of the wild animal. Pankaj Singhwal. Nada Ejaz Abdul Rauf, Maharashtra, 16 years, 6 months. The incident occurred on 30th April 2017 at Parthi village of district Tandere, Maharashtra. Few women and girls had gone to the bank of a water reservoir, the Zanu River. One of the girls accidentally slipped and fell into the water. Seeing this, Sheikh Afsar entered in the reservoir to save her friend. Since the water was too deep, she too started to drown. Then two other girls, Sheikh Afri and Sheikh Tabassum, went to rescue them. Unfortunately, none of these girls knew swimming and had no idea how deep the water was, so they too met to the same fate. Ajaz Abdul Rauf and two other men jumped into the water. Ajaz Abdul Rauf, ignoring fear, continued his great efforts to search in the 20 feet deep waters. Defying odds against him, his fortitude succeeded in saving Tabassum and Afri. Unfortunately, the lives of two other girls could not be saved. Nadaf Ejaz Abdul Rauf. The next award is the posthumous one. Nukrakpam Rajeshwari Chanu, Manipur, 13 years, 7 months. On the 10th of November 2016, only Kedisana was crossing a wooden suspension bridge along with her daughter in Gambi, three years, and another girl, Rajeshwari Chand. The wooden bridge built over the 167 feet wide Infal River was in a dilapidated condition due to lack of repairs. The little girl stumbled and fell into the river through a hole. Her mother instantly jumped into the water to save her child, but as she did not know swimming, she too started to jump. Seeing this, Rajeshwari Chanu too plunged into the 30 feet deep water. With resolute spirit, she caught hold of the child and her mother and pushed them towards the shore. But as she reached near the shore, she was severely exhausted and cried out for help. The screams were heard by some people 
from the nearby area who picked up old mother and child. However, Rajesh Chani was carried away by the turbulent stream and could not be traced. After three days of search, her body was recovered from the river. We have Rajeshwari Chamu's father, Lokrappam Rajan, making here to the scene. The next award is also a posthumous one. F. Lalchandamma Mizoram, 17 years, 11 months. On the afternoon of 7th May 2017, Lanchan Dhamma and his classmates had gone to River Kwang, the longest river of Mizoram. They enjoyed swimming for an hour. While they were getting ready to return, one of their friends, Lalgan Kima, slipped off the mossy rock, lost his balance, and fell headlong into the river. Out of panic, he started crying for help. Lanchan Dhamma and Lalmohan Sangha instantly jumped into the water and swam towards the headless friend. The drowning boy got hold of Lalmohan Sangha's neck making him unable to breathe or swim. As a result, both of them started drowning. Lal Chandama, with the predominance of courage, freed Lal Sangha from Lal Kuma's grip and somehow managed to drag him to the shore. Without hesitation, brave Lal Chandama, not thinking of the consequences, again went into the deep water to rescue the other friend. Despite of his repeated efforts, he failed in his attempt and both of them lost their lives. We have Lal Chandama's father, Lal Malsoma, receiving the gift. <laughs> Pankaj Kumar Mahanta, Orisha, 13 years, 11 months. The incident occurred on the morning of 22nd May 2017 at Keonchar district of Orisha. Three women, Dejanti, Pushpalata, and Suchita, had gone to Bebrani River to bathe. Although most of the villagers used to bathe in the river, they were unaware of the recent sand sedimentation due to the sudden influx of rainwater. While bathing, Dejanti's foot slipped on the loose sand and she fell into the 20 feet deep turbulent water. The other two women tried to rescue her, but they too started drowning. Noticing this, Pankaj immediately rushed to save them and dive into the deep boat. The three women were much heavier in weight compared to Pankaj's body weight and strength. Putting himself in danger, he pulled all three of them out one by one. Pankaj Kumar Mahanta saved three lives with his bold and courageous act. Pankaj Kumar Mahanta. <laughs> Thank you very much. That brings us to the end of this part.